The Ministry of Health presented the last fleet of community ambulances in Kanifin on Wednesday. The ambulances were procured by the Gambia government through the United Nations Office for Project Services. Our reporter Binti Jalo attended the handing over ceremony and seen our rewards. The Ministry of Health appears to be in high years of creating more access to healthcare facilities for the people as the country's medical care struggles behind the required standards. Presenting the 25 community ambulances, Gambia's Minister of Health, Dr. Amadou Lamin Samate, said President Barrow's priority has always been putting quality health care to his people. Dr. Samate stated that the President and his government recognize the importance of having a healthy population for national development. Without a healthy population, we cannot think of farming. We cannot think of any activity of development. So having a healthy population is critical. In fact, investing in health is actually investment, investing in the development of a country. Recognizing these facts and putting into cognizance the challenging health sector we inherited, the challenges in the health sector, with dilapidated infrastructure, obsolete equipment, inavailability of supplies, the government sat down and re-strategized. And the strategies are being implemented in four areas. This development is in fulfillment of the promise President Barrow made during a meeting in Taibatu as part of his 2021 Meet the People tour. Already, the President-led government implemented four strategic areas in making sure that Gambians get quality health care delivery. This includes the construction of new health centers across the length and breadth of the country the construction of an emergency treatment center at Farato, which will be furnished with 104 beds and 20 full acute intensive care units to cater to the needs of the population among others. The second step is the procurement of equipment to improve the standards of the health centers. Dr. Samate says the government of the Gambia and its partners have already spent over $500 million to procure life-saving equipment for the health facility of the country. The third phase is ensuring there is a consistent flow of drugs, medication and consumables to the health facilities. And the fourth phase is having the right people to do the work. Mr. Samate outlined some of the things President Barrow discussed with people during his tour. But when the President went round to talk to the people of this country to know their challenges, one issue that was topmost was access to the health facilities. You can build health facilities, but you need roads for people to get to the health facilities. You need vehicles for people to get to the health facilities. We were somewhere up country and we had horrific stories. A traditional bad companion was narrating a story when there was a pregnant woman who went into labor late at night and the woman was placed on a donkey cart to get to the main road so she could get to the health facility to deliver. Now on the way to the main, main road they were ambushed by wolves. They were ambushed by wolves, crisscrossing their path. Out of fear, justifiable fear, they had to go back home and the woman delivered at home. In the same area, a similar thing, this time a donkey, a horse cart, a pregnant woman. And they were again ambushed by wolves. And then the horse itself was so afraid that he started running at full speed with the pregnant woman on the horse cart until they reached the main road. Then the horse slowed down. This had been the realities. And the president said this is not acceptable. People living anywhere 
in this country are Gambians and we as a government need to do something for them. The 80 community ambulances will go a long way towards facilitating quick access to health care, especially in remote and rural parts of the Gambia. Binti Jalo, IFK News.